Okay. I have our original document open here. Um, the one that we called my first part. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make another part in here um, in the same document um, by adding an additional tab down here at the bottom. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to click this plus sign right here. And we're going to choose Create Part Studio. Um, so what this is going to do is going to let us make another part in the same document. So I'm going to click that. And you'll see um, another tab popped up down here. So this one's now empty. I can go back to my first part by just clicking this little tab. There's our first part still there. Second part, now um, we have a blank space to start there. Okay, and this is all still in the same document, the one called My First Part. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at just the front plane again. So I'm going to click the front over here. So now I'm looking at it straight on. Let's start a sketch. So I'm going to click Sketch. And it's, again, it's going to ask us what we want to draw on. So I'm going to click Front. And this time, instead of using the uh, Line tool, we're going to jump over here and use a rectangle. So I'm going to click this drop-down menu right here. And I want to choose the center point rectangle. So what the center point rectangle lets us do is it does it uh, lets us choose the middle of the rectangle first. So I'm going to click that. And I want my rectangle to be centered at the origin, which is just this dot at the middle here. So I'm going to highlight the origin. So you'll see it highlights yellow. I'm going to click once. Now my rectangle is centered. Now as I move my mouse, I can size my rectangle. So I can make it as big or small as I want. I'm just going to make it something like this. So I'm going to click once I like that size. It'll turn blue there. So now we've drawn a rectangle. Okay, so now we've got a rectangle drawn in there. And let's, um, we're going to add a circle to this. So I'm going to come up here to the top. And I'm going to choose this um, tool that says center point circle. Um, there's a couple different options for circles here. I want to I want the one that says center point circle. So I'm going to click it. And we're going to draw a circle. We're going to add a circle to the top here. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice I can lock on to certain parts of this. So I want to lock on right here at the center um, at the top middle of our rectangle here. So you'll notice I'm right in the middle. I'm going to click once. Now I can size my circle. Okay, so what I want to size it as, I want it to be the same exact width as our rectangle. So I'm going to drag it over here to the right to this corner of the rectangle. And I'm going to click again. So I've clicked. Now we've got a circle at the top. Okay, let's put another circle in there. So I'm going to, again, right here at the middle, click once to center my circle. And I want this one to be smaller than that one. So I'm going to say, we'll say it's about this big. I'm going to click again. That locks it in. Okay. So we've drawn, you know, a rectangle, a couple circles in here. What I want to do is I want to trim away some of these lines. So there's a whole lot of lines going on in here. Um, we want to get rid of some of those. So what we're going to use is called the trim tool. And it's up here at the top. It looks like this pair of scissors. So I'm going to click the trim tool. And we're going to trim away some of these lines. So I'm going to trim away this little bit over here. I'm going to trim that away. And then at the very, very middle here, these two lines. Okay, so I'm going to leave this circle because we're going to make that actually as a whole. And I'm going to leave the rest of this. Okay, so once we have a shape that looks like this, I'm going to go ahead and click the green check mark. Now that I'm done drawing and sketching. Okay, so we've exited sketch mode um, because now no nothing's blue. Okay, so you can see I'm going to rotate my view a little bit just so you can see. It's just a 2D shape. Okay, and let's go ahead and we're going to extrude this. So I'm going to come up here to the top left and choose extrude. Okay, and again, it's going to ask us what we want to extrude. So now because there's two different shapes in here, like it could let me choose, um, like I could choose just this inside circle to extrude. Um, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to click this little X right here. I want to extrude actually the rest of this. So I'm going to click in the middle of our shape here. And you'll notice this time, now it's got a hole through it. So it's like avoiding that area. It's only extruding um, this part that it's connected to. Okay. And I'm going to leave that depth as just one inch. I'm going to click the green check mark. And here we have, now we've got a shape with a hole in it. So now you've made your second part. Okay. So that's how we use some of the rectangle, um, the circle, and the trim tool.